that chassis is not near as beefy as what we're gonna build old Will Hop Wilma here. Uh, Tugboat Tammy, she's gonna get a one-ton chassis that I've already purchased, by the way. I'll end up going and getting that thing someday. Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. This video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do put and strip it and flip it. And no, that don't mean I'm gonna get naked and hit a cartwheel. It means uh, we got the free tin from PJ a while back. He needs the chassis back. So we're gonna strip down that old free tin truck. We did a will it run and if you missed it, it's pretty good. So check that out. Let me show you what we got going. Well, we got going some rain. The old free tin was sitting back there, and once it rains back there, you can't drive around, unless you're in the tow roller. Luckily, I got to her right before it rained. Here's the old free tin. Still got the tow roller hooked on. Drug her back here. So yeah, we're gonna pull that in here, strip her down. We're gonna have to get a little creative. I do have a crane. I don't have a cherry picker. You can see though that this crane ain't very tall, uh, or don't hang, eh. Crane hangs too low, damn it, is what I'm trying to say. So we may have to get a little creative. Protect your noodle. Some people have complained that the tow roll is a bully. She has been known to push people around. Roller don't mess around. Probably should have tried to flip flop that around. I kind of want to pull the bed where we can put it on a dolly thing where maybe we can pile parts in the back of the bed. I don't know. Let me do some brainstorming. I'm trying to clean up my damn place, so we gotta get rid of that thing. I believe the Chevrolet Love is sold. Got a guy coming today to buy it allegedly. Come on back here. Be careful where you step because it's slicker than heck. Next old tractor. We're going to get our wheel dollies. Uh, looks like we're going to have to earn our keep today and do some work. Let me go ahead and cut these bibs because it looks like we got a day ahead of us of physical labor. No handouts around here. Unless you're talking about this free truck. <laughs> I guess it was handed to me. Got that new three-ton jack from Harbor Freight. This thing lifts more than the rock getting ready for a Fast and Furious movie. Just a little danger wobble. Thought I lost my hand. See if I even have enough lead in my pencil to spin this thing. Oh, hit something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ugh. Don't hit my bead roller, baby. I'm about to give you the beans. Crunch. Slight bender bender. I've about got this baby where I can Miley Cyrus it and come in like a wrecking ball. Almost broke my light fixture up there. That thing is hands down the most expensive light shade I've ever purchased. A fiberglass take a hit like a champ. Before I shove it over there all the way, I'm gonna see if we can't pull the bed bolts right here where I got room to work around. Gas tank's gone already. Hit these babies with some lube. 
broken free by hand. If we have luck like that the rest of the day, we'll be doing good. If we get that lucky this whole time, we'll be doing good. Uh, every nut came off, no problem. Looks like the wiring's already pulled. Gate, gas tank's pulled. I think we're ready to take our bed off. Get you guys on the Roadster cam up here, eye level with the Roadster. If you've seen the Will It Run with the 64 Impala and you made it to the end of the video with the rat story, I'm telling you guys, if you don't get that, you should watch that video. Did you pee your pants? That was questionable, so let's go for a re-attack. That's what we need. But my hoist don't hold. So you just gotta find that sweet spot with that board. Now we're gonna use these ratchet straps and pick up the back. All I know is I got way too excited when I walked over here and seen this baby as a dump bed. We're about to build some pivots and make this thing a new shop truck. Let's see what happens here. Obviously I'm favoring the front too much, but I think maybe we can pick it up, kind of walk it back. We're gonna hit our uh, body again because Rubin's racing, but maybe that'll kind of hold it where we need. And maybe I can sit it on that chair if I have to. comes together well except my camera fell and I didn't know it yeah. drag in more goodies from out back and probably need even more goodies Don't mind good looking there. Not really a tech tip, but let me give you guys some advice if you do a lot of stuff by yourself, like I. Four dollies, a little basic set of frames like this, and one little cart like that, and you can move a lot of crap. Those legs actually fit inside of those, and I usually weld them to it to move stuff around. Since I need those for this, I wanna get creative and use that. This was used for the shoe box and the travel all body. This one I needed wider for the travel all body, so I just added that bar on top. If you're a little creative, you can move a lot of stuff around with simple stuff like this. Now this situation ain't ideal because this is wider than this. Had I planned on this being a thing, I would have built this car the width of this and then you could really, uh, you know, make stuff easy. But this was just crap I gathered over time. I'm gonna just try kicking these on here at an angle and seeing if we can still fit the bed on it. back one fits. Got that old crossbar back behind here, which kind of locks it in, which is good. Up here, looks like this one may sit on here. This one will definitely hit middle on here. Now my voice is having trouble going down. I'll see how easy that is. Build a cart, build some little kind of H frames or whatever you want to call those things. I guess lowercase N frames. Get some wheel dollies. You can move everything. Now we got to place the store parts as we keep stripping this baby down. Probably I'll take the drive shaft because you never know when you need to build a short and stubby. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's get this thing scooted on back and start plucking away at the front. Gonna start simple here and ditch the old core support and the fender well. Took those babies out already. Oh 
Oh yeah, baby. Another good fender wheel. I think the only thing we have holding us is radiator hoses. In a situation like this, a little ground strap could really just ruin your day. I like to keep radiator hoses, not to reuse them, but when you build projects, you gotta find them ones with the special bins. Yeah, we'll write what this baby is and throw her up in a box. Same with our lower radiator hose. I honestly have no clue what I'm gonna do with this. Now I think we'll see if we can't get this damned old cab out of the way. We're gonna have to disconnect some shifting linkages and maybe some speedometer cable. Might give this thing a slice of Rooney. And because our crane's so tall, or the lack thereof it being tall. We're gonna have to get a little creative, but I'm gonna pull the cab bolts real quick. Cab bolts came right out. Went ahead and got our carrier bearing for the old two-piece drive shaft. Came around the front, steering shaft came right off, clamp for the speedo cable. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, shifting linkages. About to pop these off. Nice quality line wrench like old Mortsky likes right here. line wrench who's got that kind of money when hoses want to give you a fight just reach for the you ain't got a choice 700 model there's a lot of ways to tell that it ain't got a choice i just prefer to keep mine in my front bib pocket in a situation like this a little ground strap could really just ruin your day also i guess i forgot about a, a clutch <laughs> There's old cotter pin for the clutch pedal. There she goes. If I'm being honest with you guys, I have no desire to mess with a parking brake cable. Oops, telling you guys, y'all don't have to have a crane. If you had a cherry picker, if you had a good tree limb with a pulley, with a tow roller, I mean, you just gotta get creative. Gonna slap two of those puppies back on since we're gonna set that down on the rotors. How's that for a low rider? Hopefully I can sell that bed for $15. Then I can buy a new tripod off eBay. My poor tripod's looking pitiful. <laughs> Did the same to the rear. Now we got this thing sitting right. Boy, that is a short bed and slammed like that. Damn, should look good. We did pick up some height for our crane. I don't think enough. Unhook that, pick that up over that. Now it kind of makes that a pocket and we'll pop it right there, drop it and lock it. About to hit some rhymes. May have been good for six inches or so. Don't think I'm even gonna crack a joke on that one. It's too easy and I try to keep it PG folks. So what we got here is just kind of a half-assed guess a -roo on where I should put the old strap through the cab. We're just gonna go for it, see where we're at. Found another ground cable. There she goes. There we go. She's free, I think. She's just kind of dragging. We cannot pick up any higher. <laughs> Is this the situation I want to be in? Well, hell no, but we're going to try to ease into it. This is the joy and beauty of doing things Han Solo. Probably going to have to back up, get out, pick it up, slide it, get back in, you know, do a, a combination of things. But let's see what happens. Just took all the stuff off for the starter and all the rest of the wiring instead of cutting that stuff. Pretty decent harness on the front of this thing. Oh, clamp for the speedo cable. 
How many of y'all have already thought I look like uh, one of them minions from the Despicable Me cartoon? <laughs> if y'all have kids, you've seen it. I just see myself in my 30 square foot rear view mirror in that Torola. <laughs> look like a minion. Free, baby. Torola never disappoints. Got the old cab free. Now, I don't have nothing to set that on, so we're gonna jack this thing back up, put the wheels and tires on it, then we're gonna take the dollies right underneath there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Had to wheel dolly this thing over here where we get the motor close to the crane to be able to pick it up. My custom board fell out, so it just lowered the cab down. But now we can pick this thing up, get the dollies underneath that, we can roll it out of the way, motor out of here, and I think we're done, finally. If this thing just wants to balance on too, I ain't gonna argue with it. That's why you need to go slow. <laughs> Here's the old my patience is running out. So we're gonna take care of the exhaust and a few hoses. I think I got everything unhooked. Had a little hook thing for this one. Yeah, a lock will work, right? Let's see if we can't get this baby up out of here. Now, since we're doing the balancing act on two of the wheel dollies over there, we'll just set this thing hopefully on some wheel dollies. Oh, man. So now I gotta figure out what to do with all this crap. Few people speculated that the old chassis for this may be for my Lodestar. That chassis is not near as beefy as what we're gonna build old Will Hop Wilma here. Uh, Tugboat Tammy, she's gonna get a one-ton chassis that I've already purchased, by the way. I'll end up going and getting that thing someday. Hopefully the bed, fender wells, core support stuff will sell. If it don't sell quick, I'll end up just putting it for like a hundred bucks. Just come get it. I had a couple people ask about the cab, even though it's all cut up. They said they'd still rather fix that than some of the rusted cabs they have. So maybe that'll bring some money, maybe not. And then, like I said, I doubt anyone's gonna hop on this 305. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna end up tearing into it. If no one's interested in it for super cheap, then like I said, some of this stuff may end up going to the scrap if someone don't come and get it. That chassis has to go back to the guy I got the truck from. Uh, I will bring the wheels and tires back. With any luck tonight, I'm gonna load that thing up, go drop it off. I have a guy coming to pick up the love, hopefully. And I gotta take some kids to church and do the, the Pot County Shuffle, do the Boogaloo. And hopefully, maybe all that'll pan out tonight. Tomorrow I got some juicy stuff planned so I won't be here in the shop. I appreciate y'all checking out the video and hanging out in the shop with me. Uh, I know we're not out rescuing or doing will it runs, but I got stuff around here I always gotta get done too and maybe we can start throwing some of these in the mix.
Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your aunt, your sister, and your uncles, cousins, boyfriends, boyfriends, other girlfriend, whatever, you know. Let's help spread the word. Keep growing Putin's Fab Shop. If uh, this was a little boring to you, check out some of the other videos where we do some more fun stuff. If you're new, hell, I got something you'll like. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project.